Stephanie Mazio. I am with Blind Dog Productions. I'm an executive producer, and we partnered with the Flagler Film Festival, and pretty much all I did was put everything together and get it all running and keep track of all the films that came in and all the ticket sales and try to coordinate everything. So what's it been like? This is your first uh, film festival that you've been in charge of? or Yes. Yes. What's it been like the experience for you? I'm an organized person, so it's been easy. Um, it's just been a matter of keeping everyone else on track and making sure everything gets done and make sure the guys all follow the rules. <laughs> I know you're an experienced industry professional. Um, what's it like to see from this, this side? Like this? I've been to film festivals before, so to me it's just it's just another part of it. It's about the same thing, you know, it's doing the judging was a little difficult because, you know, from being and working in the industry, it makes it a little bit harder maybe, or maybe easier, it's hard to say, but it's been challenging in that respect with the judging. So do you think this is something you guys are going to continue to do? Oh yeah. We're doing it, planning it for next year already. It's amazing. Yes. So what has been some of the stuff that surprised you most about the film festival? The amount of people that showed up. Really? For, for the first time back since what, 2017 I think it was, was the last one. And we kind of expected maybe have 20 people if we were lucky, but we had like standing room only, so it was kind of scary. So was there any film that was your favorite? Of course. Can I say that? <laughs> yeah, because this will be after the show, okay. after the winners are announced. <laughs> DOA was my hands down top favorite. Very professionally done. It's yeah. amazing. Yes. Is there anything that was kind of like a surprise? Um, Amateur, for, amateur film? There was, I mean, there was a, a, some really good ones, and it was so hard to pick. We had to narrow it down. That was really tough. Um, there were some that they just were totally, like, I don't know if you saw any of them, like Chap History had, like, a really unique concept. Keep Digging was amazing. Just some of the storylines that these people came up with just kind of blew my mind. Thanks. and my film is Captain Scott B and the Great Adventure. Um, I live in North Carolina and we did the 10 hour drive to be here because this is a film about grief and it shares my story and I think it's so important to have that space after the film shows to really connect with the audience and to answer questions not just about the film but really about the grief process and to support that. And I know that you guys talked about using this potential tool to help others. Um, what would you like to see in the future of your film? Uh, I would love for it to be a healing experience for people who watch it and for it to be uh, an inspiration to reckon with whatever griefs they have experienced in their lives. And you had a ton of um, footage and like we all fell in love with your dad. <laughs> um, is there any uh, maybe hopes to do like a bloopers or a fun reel of things that your dad did? That's a great idea. I love that. <laughs> there would be a long bloopers. It would be longer than the film. <laughs> <laughs> and where can people find your film if they didn't get to see it this weekend? Uh, go to captainscottb.com. Uh, at captainscottb.com, there's a link to uh, where you can view it on the PBS North Carolina Library.